guard! Skirlanders is coming to an end! JK. Hey there, guys. Portalmaster9351 here. And people have been talking everywhere about how Skylanders is coming to an end. It's declining. Superchargers is boring and dull, and it's going to be the death of Skylanders. And you couldn't be more wrong. Because Skylanders is alive! It's alive! So, how do you know this, Portal Master? Why is Skylanders not dying? Because it's making itself spin-offs. One surefire way to know that a franchise is doing well is when it makes spin-offs. We, you know, we got, um, I've got my spin-off logos up there as they were on the App Store when they first came out. You know, we got Cloud Patrol back in 2012 and same thing with uh, Battlegrounds and Lost Islands, you know, nice spin-offs and we got the Collector Vault in 2013, but you know, 2014 and 2015 were silent. Oh no! No spin-off games! But now, we've got Battlecast. We have Battlecast. That's how I know Skylanders is not dying. The day in which we wind up with three years in which we don't get a spin-off, Skylanders, you know, might be in a bad state, but as long as we're making spin-offs, we're doing good. You know, um, I think the Toys R Us crowd that I saw at midnight on launch day would beg to differ with the fact that Skylanders is coming to an end. It's not coming to an end. Um, and people are overreacting to the fact that the holiday rush is not here yet. They're overreacting to that. And, you know, they're thinking, oh my gosh, Lego Dimensions, it's completely outsold Skylanders. Of course it did. It's brand new. It's the new thing. Everyone wants the newest and the greatest. And it's the new thing. And it's why it's going to outsell us for a little while. It's going to outsell Skylanders. And also Infinity and Amiibos. You've got to take that into consideration. It's not just outselling Skylanders. It's outselling everything else. It's impacted the entire Toys to Life market. Um, just like Amiibo impacted um, Infinity and Skylanders. And how Infinity impacted Skylanders. These things all impact the market the most when they first come out. Um, and honestly, even if Lego Dimensions outsells Skylanders, that doesn't mean Skylanders is coming to an end. You know, um, we look at different franchises out there that outsell each other in terms of movies and, you know, comic books and games and stuff, and they still coexist. We look at Marvel and we look at DC, some of the longest standing, um, rivalry that exists out there in the, um, the world of, you know, capitalism. And... You know, um, Marvel beats DC out as far as movies are concerned, and they've been doing that for quite a while. And DC still makes movies, you know, just because Infinity beats Skylanders or in Dimensions beats, you know, Skylanders doesn't mean that it can't stand. Um, and I mean, honestly, if I had to bet right now who's the gonna be the if anyone crashes from the market, it's gonna be Infinity because. Infinity currently has, to my knowledge, the lowest fan base and the lowest sales that exist. Um, it, just as far as I know from a personal standpoint. Um, I mean, it's just not coming to an end anytime soon. You know, as long as it still makes money, they're going to be made. You know, people are thinking, oh my gosh, it went from... You know, I don't know how much money it used to make. Let's just throw a random number out there. It went from $500 million a year to $450 million a year. That's a 50% million percent drop. Um, and yeah, that's a, ten, that's a 50 million drop. And it's like, I had the $50 million that, you know, they lost there. I'd be a rich guy. But you've got to think about that in terms of proportions. Just because it lost a half... Um, uh, 50 million does not mean it lost as much as you might think. It lost 10% revenue. That's just an example. Skylanders is not dying. And that brings me to the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video. I am still here. I am not leaving. You know, it's been a week since I made my last video. And um, I'm not leaving. Just because there's a week that I don't make a video does not mean I'm leaving. It, it never does. You know, as to why I did that, it's just that 
you know, to say I'm a busy person is an understatement right now. And, um, you know, most, most systems, um, sorry, I'm getting a little congested. Most, uh, schools run on a, uh, you know, they either do end of the year stuff, you know, like elementary schools, you know, they of course do end of the year stuff. Um, some schools, you know, they do quarterly testing. Some schools do, you know, semester, tr uh, testing. They do a, you know, first semester, second semester. Um, I happen to run on trimesters, which is, uh, three, uh, three terms. And so that means that the first term of my school is actually coming to an end right now. So I'll have some big tests coming up. And that's why I've not been making as many stuff, as many things. I have, um, a lot of my teachers realized how behind we are on stuff and they're trying to cram a whole bunch of stuff in there. And, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, juggle all the things, you know, um, I would, I, something I would kind of want to talk about is that, you know, before Superchargers launched, I was making, you know, two videos a day and I felt half asleep whenever I made them. I would rather make one fully coherent video like I am now than making, you know, per week than making two videos a day where I'm half asleep and don't really know what I'm talking about. Some of the episodes that are some of the videos that I made during that time period were not very coherent and I didn't like that. I would rather have a little bit of quality content than a ton of subpar content. Um, as far as uh, gameplay is concerned, I am still planning on doing more gameplay. Um, it's just like I said, I am busy. It's hard to find a time in which I can actually sit down and record. You know, of course, we've got all sorts of TV shows coming back on. And, um, you know, I have to give my friend's microphone back at um, the beginning of November. And so, you know, I'm going to try to get at least um, a few more levels pushed out there as far as gameplay is concerned. And then I'm going to have to actually take a hiatus of about two months. And you're going to have to wait. And I'm sorry, guys, but it's really going to have to wait because... I don't have a microphone. And as I said, I would rather have a little bit of fully coherent, you know, good content than subpar content that is produced often. And what I mean by that is that if I was to do gameplay without that microphone, it would sound like my SSA and Giants throwback. And I don't think you guys want to do that, uh, want to hear that. And I don't want to hear that either because it was terrible audio quality. I want you guys to be able to hear me cohere and you know understand me fully and um i you really couldn't get that with the ssa and giants throwback with my you know my component built-in microphone and so yeah i am i am planning on getting a headset for christmas i'm really hoping i do if i don't um then i'll take my christmas money and actually go to best buy and buy me one but um i am planning on doing that you know, over the summer, I was originally going to start an actual gaming channel um, in which I play, you know, other games other than Skylanders and, you know, talk about other things, do other things. And, you know, I can't lie to you guys, that's uh, that didn't work out then, but I still want to do that. That's still something I'm very interested in. You know, there's um, this is sort of a niche role. There's not a lot of people out there that may just be interested in a Skylanders channel. And I am not just interested in Skylanders at all. And, you know, now that I've gotten Elgato and soon, hopefully, a microphone, um, the world of possibilities as far as content that I can create is going to skyrocket. I'm going to be able to make so, so much stuff. And I eventually want to get an adapter cable so that I can record stuff on my iPad. Should next year they decide to do a release on the tablet alongside of um, the normal version, then I'll get the tablet version and use my Elgato um, to record it on my tablet and do commentary from there because it's so much more convenient for me to use it on my, to, for me to play it on my tablet. But, um, you know, I just couldn't warrant waiting until the 25th of October to, to get the tablet version. And so, um, you know, I know this has sort of been a long and rambly sort of video with a lot of statistics, and it may have bored you guys, but I just wanted to let you know that Skylanders nor me is going anywhere anytime soon. And just because I don't make videos for a week does not mean I'm out of the game. Doesn't mean I'm gone. You know, some people seem to unsubscribe whenever the, there's a long period of time in, or like a week in which I don't make videos. Probably because they think I'm not making videos anymore. And that's not true. I need time. I'm a human being. And I need space. And like I said, I would rather have a little bit of coherent content than just boring content. On that note, though, uh, Skylander Showdown during the gameplay hiatus will be returning, as will uh, Who's That Skylander. So I've still got content planned. Don't worry, guys. I'm still here. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Portal Master 9351 Stay tuned for, for some exciting new content on my channel. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!